In the aftermath of Hurricane Earl, the National Emergency Management Organization and its partner agencies have been going around assessing the damage to houses and the needs of those affected by the Category 1 storm. Well, from early this morning, we had personnel from DANA, which is a Damage Assessment and Needs Analysis Committee of NEMA going around Belize City, together with a representative from CIMO, Mr. Troy Smith, and they have already furnished a preliminary report in relation to what they're doing on the street. Now, that will inform the sanitation efforts that need to happen within Belize City. We have teams that are going out into the communities in Belize City and also to the shelters in order to do the assessments of what are the priority needs um, in order to bring people um, to stabilization. Um, and so currently we have seven shelters that are still open um, with people. And so we're trying to determine what damages has happened to their home, what will be needed to help them to reintegrate, or is it that we'll have to look at short-term plans in order to help them to stabilize until um, the reconstruction or a redesignation of their homes is decided. Department of Human Services Director Liane Arters has been acting as the coordinator for the Relief and Supplies Committee of NEMO in response to the hurricane. Over 1,000 persons sought refuge at the 11 shelters that were opened across the north and south sides of Belize City. Although the storm has passed, almost 200 have been unable to return to their homes. When we initiated um, following the storm, we were serving about 416 people across the shelters. And each day that number is dwindling as people try to look at how can they go home and begin the recovery efforts. So currently there are about, about I'd say 175 persons currently in the shelters. Um, yeah, so that's more or less how much are in the shelters right now. Along with Red Cross and other humanitarian agencies, residents at the shelters as well as others affected across the Belize district will be receiving basic immediate assistance such as food and water. Arthur spoke about the request being made. Well, RSMC looks at the basic urgent needs now. So basically what the teams are finding right now, people are saying, I need water right now. Um, right now I need tarps because I need to be able to cover my roofs. Um, they are saying household items. Um, a few are saying food. Um, but the major thing um, seems to be water, mattress, household items. So it seems that a lot of the damage was not necessarily from water. Um, but what we're seeing is that because of the wind that caused a lot of damage to the house and so they're needing those types of immediate needs. The report will be submitted to NEMO and then the government will determine the beneficiaries. Dwayne Moody for News 5.